We are in the stacks of the Special Collections and Archives Department, and we're standing in front of the Thomas O. Payne Collection. Dr. Payne collected these books that relate to submarines and submarine warfare over the course of many years, and there are approximately 3,500 volumes. Dr. Payne was the third administrator of NASA, and under his watch, the seven of the Apollo missions were launched. And in 1992, the collection was offered to the Academy by Dr. Payne's widow. He had died in May, and in the fall, she offered this collection to the Academy. And after making arrangements to take such a large collection, uh, the gift was finalized in 1996. He served in World War II on the submarine Pompon and was in seven uh, cruises in the Pacific uh, during World War II. And I presume that that's where his interest in submarines developed, although perhaps he was interested prior to that. But certainly, I would imagine that was an impetus for him to start collecting books related to, again, to submarines and submarine warfare. We have books that go from the late 1800s up through the time of, of Dr. Payne's death. But I would say probably having served in, in the submarine service in World War II, that, that was an impetus for his collecting these books. Uh, afterwards, he graduated from Stanford, got a degree at Stanford, his doctorate at Stanford, and then went on to work for General Electric. And then I believe it was in 68 that he became the, 1968, that he became the assistant administrator for NASA and then was named administrator in 1969, so served in that position in, until his death. One of my favorite books in the collection is called Navigation Sous-Marine, which is a French book published in the late 1800s, which is a history of submarines. And it's interesting because of the uh, illustrated cover and also the illustrations that are in it. Uh, most of them are photographs, but still I think it's kind of a, a, not necessarily a rare book, but certainly an interesting book from the time period. This book is about the submarine Nautilus, which is the first submarine to go from the Pacific to the Atlantic underneath the North Pole, or the Arctic ice pack, and it's written by the commander of the submarine. This is the book that contains photographs of German U-boats from World War I. Okay, the note, there's a notice. It says, the enclosed photographs have a very special historical interest as the originals have been taken by German submarine officers attached to the Zeebrugge base. Uh, they dramatically illustrate the shameful campaign of the submarine war during which so many crimes were committed by the Germans. These often sank without notice merchant vessels allied and neutral, passenger boats, and even hospital ships, leaving their victims to perish under their eyes without even lifting a finger to help them. There is a book of, I think, from around 1920 that's a history of submarines. We also have some earlier books, which, of course, is very interesting to have history of submarines that are published in about 1906 or 1907, <laughs> when, of course, the submarine really was hadn't was just sort of taking off. It, it, it was still uh, very experimental. Um, Simon Lake, of course, was one of the inventors that worked on submarines. We have some pictures in the archives here at the Academy of Midshipmen getting into one of Simon Lake's submarines. So I would say that those works are of interest. We also have an Italian work on submarines from before World War II and has an interesting cutaway in it of the interior of a submarine. And so those are some of the, the books in the collection. Also, we have works by Edward Ellsberg, who was also a graduate of the Academy, who worked with uh, salvage work. And he was, I believe it was the S-24 was the submarine that he worked on, on salvaging. So uh, a lot of very interesting works in the collection. The collection does also include periodicals. There are a certain number of US Naval Institute proceedings in the collection, as well as individual magazines that would have had articles about submarines in them. There's a Life magazine about the, um, I believe that was about the Nautilus going under the pole, uh, a Fortune five or Fortune magazine, which was about the, the Navy uh, prior to World War II. We have some Scientific American issues talking about the development of submarines. This is a fictional account of hunting the U-boats in World War I. It was published in 1919. But included in the illustrations are some photographs of actual sailors and an aircraft uh, and an aircraft gun and, and so forth. So that kind of makes it interesting uh, since it combines illustrations like you see on the cover with photographs and illustrations of actual people and events. 
This is surface at the pole, which is about the USS Skate, which was the first submarine to surf, or first American submarine to surface at the pole. And actually, the author, who was the commander of the submarine, became superintendent of the Naval Academy, James Calvert. Well, this volume, written by a, a Japanese naval intelligence officer, so it details plans that the Japanese had uh, for invading Singapore and Malaya and and basically East Asia, and so sort of lays out the whole war plan, and it was apparently taken from two Japanese officers without their knowledge, which was how it was published in the United States. Dr. Payne didn't collect just works in English, he collected, as, again, as I said, works in Italian, Russian, Spanish, French, Japanese, uh, so it's just, just a really interesting collection.